Deputy Superintendent for the Boston Police, and I am in charge of neighborhood watch and community engagement. And basically, um, you know, three or four days of the week at night, I try to go out in the community and interact with the kids, be a mentor, build relationships and trust. So I go in different community centers, like here, Franklin Fields, mostly areas where the most violence is occurring, mm -hmm. and really build relationships and get to know the kids. And tonight, we're actually organizing a youth dialogue with a 25 young females mm -hmm. that we're going to be having the next two days. And I'm having officers from all over the city, different ranks, different assignments, interact with the women. So I'm just here to say hello to them. The guns and getting all those things, everyone can do that. That uh, doesn't impress me, actually. It doesn't impress me at all. Getting to know a kid and helping them out, and getting them into school, getting them into college, a kid that dropped out, getting them back, that's real police work. But this summer, I'm telling you, I'm going to be spending time here. So if this is a place that you guys know on Wednesdays at 5 o'clock, and you always, you guys want to make a time, I'm telling you, I'm going to be committed to spending time this year in Franklin Field. And I didn't think of it until now, how did I get here? It's because I had help. I had good people in my life that I could turn to. And I want to, for me personally, that's what I do at work. I want to be, for you guys, that mentor, that that guide to help you get things that you need. Being in management, you do get stuck at a lot of meetings and you're stuck at headquarters a lot, but it's all rewarding at the end of the day when I have the opportunity to be a role model in the community and work with kids. And I know it works when I have kids call me. Kids, if I don't show up to an event, even if it's one day, um, I'm getting emails and phone calls, sometimes from their parents. And I know that means a lot and that means that it's working. How's school going? Good. Yeah, why are you doing the boxing today? This. You're gonna do the ping pong? Because I think it's only boys. Only boys, what if I come next week? Yeah, I'll go. You go next, you wanna do it next Tuesday? Yeah. Okay, next Tuesday. So we are having a lot of problems with the young females. A lot of people, you know, the question is what do we do with the young females? You know, it's all about having young girls to empower themselves. And I think a lot of young girls in the community get left out because, like you said, we play a lot of sports with the young kids or there's programs for young men. But I think the young girls are left out a lot. So for me to um, make a point to talk to these young girls and really get develop relationships with them to show them that, you know, young girls can do just as much as young boys. Do you know what I mean? So when you do the one, you're just trying to, and they're not one. One, you push them off, you're getting them ready. But when you do the two, you, you, nice and hard. Let's see that, let's see that. Right? The one's nice and loose. The one's nice and loose. Don't think about it. See, see? Yeah. See, you got that in there, the duck. Ah, oh, you almost got you. You almost got you. See? You're coming along. You're coming along. I like it. The kids need to know that they can be, um, they can call you. Parents need to know they can call you. It doesn't matter how many guns. If people don't trust you without the community, 90% of the problems aren't going to get solved. 2005, Commissioner Davis came on and he implemented community policing. And he put me in an area where there was um, the highest crime rate in Grove Hall. And I basically cleaned the area up. There wasn't a drug deal on the corner or a, kid, a gang banger hanging out. And he came up to me and asked me why um, I didn't know any kids in the community. And I really didn't grasp what he was saying until he said it. And I said, he wants me to actually know people. I just cleaned up the, the um, area. And like I said, it was about numbers. And he showed me that it wasn't about numbers. So I actually started interacting with young kids, young boys and girls. And I never saw the job more rewarding. It, was, it then became my career instead of just a job. I'll be back. I'll be right back.